Hello and welcome to Face Off here on France 24. We are all Syriza. After the spectacular victory of Syriza, the radical left party in Greece last Sunday, French politicians from all stripes are eager to surf the wave of Alexei Tsipras, the new Greek prime minister. On the left, of course, but also on the far right and even in the presidential Elysee Palace. So will the Greek thunderbolt have an effect on French politics? With me to discuss uh, the Greek effect, Jean-Marc Gonin with Le Figaro magazine and Philip Troll with Radio France Internationale. So just merely a day after uh, his victory, Alexis Tsipras, the leader of Syriza, was sworn in as prime minister. He formed a coalition government with an unlikely partner, a small party, a nationalist anti-immigrant, with which it shares one view, its refusal of austerity policies imposed by the European Union and the International Monetary Fund. Uh, we'll take a listen uh, to uh, the reaction from uh, the leader of the left of the left, as it's known here in France, Jean-Luc Mélenchon, who was certainly happy about what happened in Greece and thinks it could have an effect in France. What I'm expecting from this result is that it gives us encouragement. We can say now, you see, it's possible to do this. You just need courage. And it's for Europe that it's good news, because perhaps now we can finally turn the page on this austerity-ridden Europe of Angela Merkel and the headstrong accountants that surround her. This was the obvious reaction from uh, the left, or the far left, one might say, here in France. However, on the other side of the aisle, the far-right leader Marine Le Pen, the leader of the National Front, was also very happy about what happened in Greece. Let's take a listen to Marine Le Pen. I'm delighted by the huge democratic slap the Greek people have given the European Union. I am satisfied by the election of Tsipras because I think it is the start of Euro austerity being put on trial. And not to be outdone, uh, the French president, François Hollande, quickly congratulated uh, Tsipras. He called him, invited him to Paris. Uh, he was much happier, it seems, than uh, the German chancellor, Angela uh, Merkel. Uh, Jean-Marc uh, Gonin, interesting to see the far left, of course, but also the far right, and even uh, the socialist president all seem to be saying, well, uh, this is our guy who won in Athens. Yes, well, wishful thinking is, uh, is having a nice time now in, uh, in French politics. Uh, uh, if, of course, Mélenchon, the far left leader, is dreaming of the same situation because according, according to what he thinks, French are crumbling under the burden of austerity and terrible measures. And, uh, well, he, he, he's trying to compare the French to the Greek, which is uh, a far-fetched comparison. And of course, Mrs. Le Pen, who has been arguing against Europe uh, all over her political career, is, is really pleased to see that somebody who has been criticizing harshly Europe um, has been elected, has had a triumph in Greece. But this is really, uh, they, they don't take into account the great reality and where the, con the country is heading to, and France has nothing to do with that. Even in the dire times France is, is, is living now, it, it has nothing to do with Greece. Uh, Hollande, it's a different story. Hollande is pleased with the elections. I don't think he's pleased because uh, of Tsipras himself, but Hollande uh, wants to be once again at center stage. He's been at center stage in the last weeks because of the terrible things that happened in France, and he's done pretty well there. And now he, he thinks he can be at center stage in Europe, uh, playing a balancing act between Greece and Germany, for instance. He will be the, uh, the, uh, the negotiator, so to speak, and that, that gives him, again, a sort of statesman status. Right, uh, Philip Toll, let's just remind our viewers that Alexis Tsipras uh, came to uh, Paris uh, back in 2012 and he didn't meet uh, François Hollande, who was not interested in Alexis Tsipras, and now he's uh, getting the red carpet treatment uh, from the Elysee Palace. Uh, are they all uh, supporting uh, the victor, or are there uh, some similarities, at least in the positioning, especially vis-à-vis -vis Germany, maybe, uh, that uh, could play a role in maybe future French elections? Well, I think um, 
I mean, it's obviously, no one in France is, is going to criticise uh, an election victory in another European country. It does it's not done. So everyone will say well done, whether they really are in agreement with the person who's won or not. Uh, I think that's the first point. Um, and they don't want to fall foul of a person who is running a country in the European Union which has all the problems that we know Greece has. Uh, I think, as, as you said, it, it's important for François Hollande to position himself as a key leader in Europe. He's now sw swimming on the, a wave of popularity in France following the government reaction to the Charlie Hebdo uh, attacks on the 7th of January. He's seen his opinion poll boosted and he'd like to stay up there. So he's got to position himself as being not only someone who's directing policy at home, but someone who's also in charge of what's going on in Europe. And that one of the big criticisms in France has been the fact that um, Europe has been looked upon as being a scapegoat or responsible for all of France's ills and all of France's woes. It's, it's, I think, um, and it's been, many politicians have been responsible for that because they, they, when they can't find a solution to, to short-term domestic policy, they blame it on the European Union, saying our hands are tied, we've got no uh, way to manoeuvre, and it's all Europe's fault. So now we've got this victory in, in Greece of this far-left party. It's not only a wake-up call for many countries in Europe, like Germany, for example, which I think obviously is not quite so happy about this victory. Uh, in France, where we've already got a left-wing government, which... Um, probably isn't that happy, but he's going to try to make amends and try to, uh, to uh, strike up some kind of working relationship with the far left in Greece. But President Hollande is in a position now where he's on the left and he knows that he could maybe work uh, with Electric Sea Press to try to forge some kind of common ground in the knowledge that the Greeks have said, now that, they, now that the party has been elected... Uh, uh, series of that it's not going to want to leave the European Union and it's not going to want to, to leave the Euro. And those are two major points which are going to interest not only France but also all the other members of the Eurozone. Right. Uh, what's also interesting, as I mentioned, is the fact that he decided to ally himself. They were uh, short of a majority in Parliament, two seats short, so he decided to ally himself with a party uh, that's pretty much to the right or the far right, one might even say. And so there is this kind of anti-Europe, anti-establishment coalition now. Uh, could this uh, also uh, serve as a template uh, in France where there are forces uh, on the far left but also on the far right uh, are, uh, who are saying exactly the same thing? The risk is on the table. There are very strong uh, populist forces in France on the political scene but also within the French population and a uh, uh, stronger difficulties uh, in France in a, with the economy could lead to some kind of, of, of a strong populist. I mean, Mrs. Le Pen and her party are already around one third of the, of the electorate, which is a huge chunk of French opinion. Imagine if the far left, which is pretty uh, um, weak at the time, uh, find some 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 good wins too. That might be uh, that might be a, a case, but. Never forget one thing, um, to add to what Philippe was saying, uh, Hollande is also interested in Tsipras' victory in the sense that he is trying to ease up German positions for the last years, saying uh, the Germans are too stiff in their political positions regarding the debt, the, uh, uh, how to manage the euro, and he, he might ga gain some easing up through the negotiation with, uh, with, with Germany representing sort of center, uh, again, the center stage in, in the European um, Union. So that might profit him and also that might ease up his, his, his situation and uh, uh, have weakened the attacks of the far left against him, against his political line. And I think that to go further with what you were saying, Jean-Marc, is that I think both Madame, Madame Le Pen, Marine Le Pen and Jean-Luc Mélenchon are going to end up being disappointed because I don't think on either side they're going to get what they want. They, they're riding on a quest of the victory of the far left. Marine Le Pen was supporting the far left because she thought they were going to move towards leaving the European and the Euro, which is what she wants to do. Now they're not going to. And also they were a safer bet, even though she's a far right party supporting a far left party than to support Golden Dawn, which obviously would be the right party for her to support, which has been listed as being a racist and xenophobic party, which she doesn't want to be involved with. So she picked Syriza. And I think as far as Jean-Luc Mélenchon is concerned, we've seen time and time again that there's a a hope on the far left that there's going to be a sudden boost in support. But what will happen is, 
I don't think that boost in support will come. And I think that the people on the far left, if they're going to vote for anybody, they'll move off and vote for Marine Le Pen. So I think they're trying to profit from this victory in Greece, but in the long term, it's not going to bring much, I don't think, to either side. Right. Uh, quickly, uh, there's also uh, an election coming up in Spain where a uh, kind of similar uh, party uh, called Podemos is doing uh, very well. Could this be also a way to change politics in France if the same things that happen in Greece would happen in Spain, a much larger country, much larger economy. Well, if, if Podemos does well in, a, it might be in November, the, right. the, the ballots in, in Spain, uh, that, might, that might strike in the hand of, uh, of the left, but I don't think Podemos will be on such a radical line because the situation in Spain is, is difficult to compare to. Uh, it's not as desperate as Greece has been in the last uh, four or five years. Do you agree, Philip? Yes, I agree, and I think um, uh, I think we also need to, to take into account the idea that, uh, that the view in France that 51% of French people are against um, Greece leaving the euro. Uh, so that there there is support for it, but there's not such great support. And I think that um, they've realised these leaders in Greece that it's better to be in the eurozone with everybody else to try to work out um, a common way of moving forward than to pull out into a much more uncertain future, which is what Marine Le Pen wants to do, and which obviously some parties in, in Spain would also like to do. But when it comes to putting your cards on the table, it just proves once again that maybe people think you're safer off in the eurozone than you would be out of it. Thank you very much. We'll have to see how things evolve both in Greece and in Spain. Obviously, we'll be following this very closely here on France 24. Stay tuned for more news.